I would rather you confront, fight, and fail than for you just to settle for the comfort of remaining the same. Change is tough. But change is possible for some of you. The world's not going to become easier all of a sudden. No, as you mature, you're going to have more responsibilities, more things that people expect out of you. But the truth is, you can do hard things. The truth is, as long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. Ask yourself, what's my dream? What's my dream? You think you're just here to work on a job? Pay the bills, keep a roof over your head? A car note, and then die? Come on, give me a break. Raise the bar on yourself. Challenge yourself. Decide you're not going to be the same person. I want you to have the mindset that you're gonna live an expanded vision of yourself. And you're gonna go all in. I don't know your name, but I know you have a dream. You may be listening to me in your closet, your bedroom, the gym, the car, the bus, the train, the plane. I don't know where you're going, but I know you are going somewhere. You've got a destination. Keep a no excuse mentality. Then the sky is not your limit. The sky is your starting point. I never get turned off every single day. I want my destiny. I want my dream. You've got to have this vision of yourself beyond your circumstances. You've got to see yourself every day. I can do this. I can make this happen. I'm blessed and highly favored. Good things are supposed to happen to me. You've got to see yourself every day and get out of your mind those old thoughts, that old belief system. Every day you've got to sell yourself on that it's possible. You want to go somewhere you've never gone? You got to do something you've never done. You got to say something you've never said. You got to go to a place in you that you've never even been. You're not sentenced to this life this way. You chose it. I feel like on this side of COVID, like I've tried to even hit a different gear. Because one thing that I've realized over the last several years in my life, things that I take for granted can be taken from me. And so now any moment that I get a chance just to kind of lecture or to communicate or to challenge somebody to maybe do what I long for people to do, for me to do, not even you, but for me to even do. And that's to live a life where I wake up and I look in the mirror and I am determined to confront myself. I'm determined to have conflict resolution inside of myself. When I'm open and I'm honest with my behaviors and how I'm operating and what I'm doing with my time and my energy and my focus. See, let me share something with you. The easiest thing I've ever done was to earn a million dollars. The most difficult thing I've ever done was to believe it could happen to me. We all want to do something. We all want to be somebody. We all want to go somewhere. If these things are going to happen, we've got to stop habitually gravitating to excuse. You've got a destiny to fulfill. You've got a purpose to walk into. You've got a test to pass. You've got dots to connect. Rooms to walk in. Stages to stand on. And tables to sit down at. But you got to put a new mind in you. You got to get out of your mind. You got to begin to restructure your thinking. I'm ready to do this for my family. I'm ready to do this for my mother. I'm ready to win for my father. I'm ready to make history and ready to do something that nobody ever thought I could do. And we mistake the fact that we're supposed to be comfortable 24-7. Well, let me tell you something. Comfortable is equivalent to complacent. It's not always about the accomplishment. It's about the effort. I choose not to be a common man. 
It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale karma of utopia. I will never cower before any master nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. Who doubts you? I'm worried when you doubt you. Because when you doubt you, you can't get nothing done. When you doubt you, every little thing that gets in your way turns you back. When you doubt you, all of a sudden things just seem to be harder. But out of everybody who doubts you, you can't doubt you. You got to believe in you. You got to believe in your ability. You got to believe that you can win. We get one opportunity to come this way. We get one shot. We got one life to live. Life is too short to make excuses. So I just came to talk to the game changers and to the change agents who are willing to confront any part of you that's not speaking to your madly, wildly amazing future. When somebody is in love with who they've been called to become, what they've been called to fulfill, what they've been destined to do, there is no day off. I'm telling you, don't wait another moment. Don't wait another day. Don't wait another minute. It's lonely. It's challenging. It requires discipline. It requires perseverance. It's a mindset. It's not over until I win. People that make excuses are not connected to their destination. They don't have an end game. They don't have a goal. You have allowed yourself to become a weak link covered under the blanket of excuses. But I'm just wondering if there's anybody here that has a dream. I am ready. Come on, come on. I am ready. Come on, let me hear you. I am ready. One more time. I am ready. The pen has always been in your hand. I say write a story that's going to be damn good to read. And ask yourself, what's my dream? What are you willing to do that you've never done before? What are you willing to say that you've never said before? When, when you live like a warrior, you are vigilant, you are courageous, you, you, you take initiative, you are ambitious, you have an expanded vision of yourself. You're going to take some chances on you. You're going to bet on you. You don't settle for any and everything when you're a warrior. And you got to be in fight mode. You got to be ready to fight. Life is a fight for territory. Once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. This is the year for reset. This is the year for restart. This is the year for reignite. This is the year for repeat the things that you love. This is the year for recommit. This is the year for redesign. This is the year for re-engage. This is the year for restart. This is that year. Fight like a warrior and die a legend. I need to constantly remind myself over and over again, I am not yet where I want to be, but I know I'll get there. It's not enough to hope to win one day. You've got to expect to win today. When you set a goal, there needs to be a sense of urgency. See, we don't have the courage and that's what it takes courage. It takes guts. To do that which you know you need to do. If you don't have the courage to act, life many times will move on you and make you act. Life will whoop your butt so bad. You will be so miserable. You will catch so much hell. You say, yes, I will do it. What do you want me to do? Take me. That dream is not going to wait and say, take a breather. It's going to say, come catch me. 
Catch me if you can. If only I'd taken the chance. They didn't start a business. They didn't ask that crush out for a date. They didn't travel. They had an opportunity at, at one point in their life to do something beyond play it safe. They chose not to do that and now they regret it. Many of us don't do the things that we want to do and don't act because of lack of self-confidence. We don't believe enough in ourselves. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you there's something greater than any obstacle you'll ever face. Have faith in your abilities. Work hard, never give up, and there's nothing you can't accomplish. It's all on you. If you fail, it's because you stopped running. If you fail, it's because you stopped grinding. You stopped caring. You stopped working. You stopped working for that dream. That dangled in your face. The gift that God left you. Don't be the person that forgets to open your gift. Because that dream has everything you need in it. That dream is the road that will lead to your paradise. Regret hurts. There's no question about that. But here's the thing. Regret also instructs. And you can't have one without the other. So if you avoid the pain, you don't get any of the learning. So what you have to do is be able to process that pain. And I think there's a way for us to do that, to take our regrets, use them as signals. You, my friends, are going to get there. You are going to get that promotion. You are going to complete that marathon and you are going to run for your life. Not only can you create your life, you can recreate it. Because in order to begin to reinvent your life, you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. That you really got to put all of yourself into it. There's nothing going to stop me. If you didn't make me, you can't break me. If you didn't make the sun come up, you can't stop me. If you didn't make the moon shine at night, you can't stop me. My purpose, my will, my dedication, my motivation is all about doing the business because guess what, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm about. I'm about that business. I'm about that life. What are you about? Discipline sounds hard, but it's only hard when you don't want the reward bad enough. When you want something bad enough, you will wake up early. When you want something bad enough, you will pass on hanging out with your friends. When you want something bad enough, you will not back down. You don't have to prove anything to anyone but yourself. You begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got. Stop waiting for your dreams. Run towards your dream. Because the moment you stop running, the moment you stop fighting, is the day you will lose it. Don't wait for it. Continue to fight. Continue to chase. I want you truly want out of your life. Today is here. Today you're breathing. Today is your opportunity. Work like hell. Crack the ground and keep moving. Make the ground shake. Crack the world. Get it going. Don't let nothing stop you. When the rest of the world shuts you down, you've got to be the one to stand up, shout out, cry out, stand tall, work hard, dig deep, and go after it. Day one or one day, you decide. I look back sometimes at moments of regrets in my past. I wish I had made better decisions in my life. I truly do. If only I had pushed just a little bit more, did a little bit better, just an inch, just a fraction of an inch.
is all I needed to give. I know, ladies and gentlemen, there are moments in your life you've experienced it too. You didn't rise up to the challenge when, when it called for you. You didn't rise up to the challenge because you were afraid of it. We need to understand how to deal with our negative emotions. We can't ignore them like no regrets. We can't wallow in them like, oh my God, it's so terrible, I'm such an awful person. So among the misunderstandings are, we think that when we experience regret, it's somehow an aberration when in fact, everybody experiences regret. Regret makes us human. Regret is part of the human condition. What's more, we think that regret makes us weaker when in fact, the research shows that done right, regret can make us stronger, that we can enlist our regrets as a, an engine for forward progress. What's a winner's mentality, you ask? It means being focused on yourself and not other people. It means having desire. It means wanting it willingness to work for it you simply have to give it everything you have to get it the one thing that you must understand is that you don't get any do-overs once your day ends that's it so what option do you need to commit to taking today this is for the dreamers the dreamers that cannot sleep the dreams that run away from us when we're running our fastest. We will not be last. We will meet our dreams in our paradise. We will marry our dreams. We will hold them tight to our hearts. And we will make them ours. Make them ours forever. Come in dreams, I'm chasing. So you're better off just making decisions for fundamental reasons, doing things you care about that are meaningful and that contribute, and, and being alert to opportunity along the way, recognizing that the path is not a path, it's the opposite of a line. It's a messy, three-dimensional squiggle. I need to constantly remind myself I'm not yet where I want to be, but I know I'll get there. It's been a long time coming, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm stronger. I am willing and I'm ready to fight. I might be wounded, but I will not be defeated. In spite of everything that I've been up against, I will rise. This is a time for redemption. Redeem yourself. Get back in the fight again. The greater the challenge, the greater the reward. Focus on the opportunities that are available to you. Yes, things have happened in your life. Yes, not getting the outcome you expected hurts. Yes, you have been beaten a few times in your life, but being beaten doesn't mean that you're done. Yes, having to pick yourself up after being knocked down is hard. But those are just temporary moments. Those are temporary moments that you will get through and bounce back from. You got to turn it up 
and you got to turn it up right now. In this very moment, you have the power to shift your energy. You have the power to shift your thoughts. You have the power to shift your results. You must be willing to stand up, to fight as hard as you can, to understand within yourself that purpose must be fulfilled within you. Redemption is at hand. You have more power than you realize. It's all up to you. I need you to repeat after me. I will rise. No, you have to say it like you mean it. I will rise. Throughout my life, I have experienced so many setbacks, so many losses. I have been angry. I have cried at night. I even felt sorry for myself. If I'm going to be great at something, what good am I if everything that I come in front of breaks me down to where I can't carry myself anymore? You got to be willing to go through the pain to go through the struggle, to know that your existence matters. You have something that is inside of you right now that you possess, that must be awakened, that must have the fire to rise again, to push again, to wake up again. I'm not a victim. I'm an overcomer. You see, crossing the finish line wasn't easy, but redemption feels so good. You see, when you step into a season of redemption, you begin to experience breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough, and you are compensated for all of the pain and the discomfort that you've had to endure. We all face unforeseen battles. And sometimes these battles are not meant for us to win at that time. But that does not mean that you stop living. That doesn't mean that you give up now. You've been through hell. You've been through pain. You've been through disappointment. You've been overlooked and misunderstood. But that's all behind you. It's time for you to get everything you've ever wanted and more. Are you willing to show up like you've never shown up before? It's time for you to shine. Your day of redemption is here. It will never be an easy day. But it's a day for redemption. It's a day to be able to lift your head up and say, I am here. I am strong. I am willing. I'm not done yet. If you are feeling down, snap out of it. If you are feeling unmotivated, snap out of it. You have to rewrite the story you've been telling yourself so that you can step into a new level of abundance. You have to say it until you feel it. You gotta say, I will rise until you literally see yourself rising above all the doubt, all the worry, and all the stress you've been under. The time is now. Redemption is at hand. What do you do? Do you stand and fight? Do you sit and wait? Or do you become a warrior?
Not too many people are ready. Not too many people are built for it. But you must take that stand. I am strong. I am ready. And I will dedicate myself. Because I have been redeemed. So stop saying it's too hard. Stop saying you don't know what to do. It's time to change your inner conversations. It's time for you to go back and get everything that was taken from you. It's time to go back and recover your losses. It's time for you to rise up. It's time for you to get up. It's time for you to go higher, go faster, test your limits. I will not give up. I will not quit. I will live this life through all of the heartaches and pains. And I will continue on until my last breath. I am better than I was yesterday. I am the best of myself, not the worst. Nothing will hold me back. If it did not create me, it will never break me. For I am redeemed. And this is a moment of redemption. You are chosen for this moment. Let's go. Those of you out there, you lose it and you don't deserve to lose. You put in the work, you worked hard and you lose it. And I need you to do me a favor. This is the year to turn that around. Yes, you were rejected the last time, but go for it again. You were overlooked the last time, but show up again. Why? Because you are not finished. It is not over. You are not done. It is not too late. But what separates a dreamer from a doer? Let me break that down. Three words, consistent, follow through. Imagine a basketball player shooting hoops. How do you know if that shot's gonna go in? How do you know if that person is a shooter? You know how you become a shooter? You know how you knock it down? It's all in the follow through. I know about tough times. They can make you or they can break you. Come on now, come on, bring it, come on now. Yeah, yeah. God not giving us spirit of fear. So I didn't have time to be fearful. I had to replace fearfulness with being fearless and creative and take the initiative to do something else with my life. I am going to make it. This is my comeback story. It takes faith to step into your purpose. It takes faith to step into your destiny. It takes faith to pull away from everything that is familiar, to step into uncharted territory, to become the person you were born to be. It takes faith. So from the start, you must decide that you refuse to remain where you are. Have you ever thought about inspiring somebody else? Have you ever thought about lifting somebody else? We need you to be a light in the midst of darkness. This world has gone crazy. This world needs you to rise up. This world needs your dream. This world needs you to be you. Give as much time and energy to your dream as you do to your fears. That creates the opening for miracles to show up in your life. I need you to acknowledge the fact, acknowledge that you lose it. Are you hearing me? Acknowledge it, own it. Own up to the fact that I'm losing, E. I'm losing financially, E. I'm losing. I'm losing in my marriage, E. I'm losing. I'm losing with my kids, E. I'm losing. Personal development, I'm losing, E. And I'm tired of losing. I need you to own up to it. I'm losing. I'm a high school dropout, I'm losing. I'm working minimum wage, I'm losing. I'm getting in trouble with the law, I'm losing. My mom ain't talking to me in a strained relationship, I'm losing. I'm asking you to control what you can control. You can control going to bed. You can control getting up. You can control being on time. You can control going to class. You can control showing up. You can control doing your homework. You can control your attitude. You can control being nice. You can control doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. It's your boy E.T. said, you want to be a winner and you want to stop losing? You minimize the errors. 
and make the rest of your life the best of your life. Even when it looks like you're losing, you're winning. Never let uncertainty or doubt be the reason why you quit. Don't underestimate yourself. You do what you can do, and God will do what you can't do. Take the initiative. Learn something new. Throw your net on the other side. Be ambitious. Reach. Ask for help. Not because you're weak, but because you want to remain strong. Let's make up your mind and expect things to get better for you. You need to walk into your future whole, conditioned, ready to grab the people that believed in you before you made it to the top. Go back and get them, but first you've got to condition yourself. Come on, who am I talking to? I'm talking to that person that's tired of where they are. You have to find a way. You must find a way to get back up. This is not the end for you. You will not quit. Do not take this life for granted. Live every moment knowing you will have no regrets. We are alive and breathing and capable of more than we can ever imagine. See, we all have these tough moments in life. Walt Disney filed bankruptcy seven times and he had two nervous breakdowns. Oh, he was bent, but he wasn't broken. No, he kept creating. Someone stole his first cartoon that had great promise. And, and someone stole it. Somebody on his team stole it from him. His heart was broken. But he didn't stay there being angry and bitter and talking about it. He created Mickey Mouse. Had that person not stole his first cartoon, Mickey Mouse would not have been born. Many times when one door closes, another door opens, but we many times spend time looking at and talking about the closed door. We don't see the open door. Giving up is easy. Succumbing to how you feel is easy. But hanging in there when you feel like you don't have anything left, now that's hard. So are you willing to make the tough decisions? Are you willing to stretch yourself? Are you willing to get up every time you fall? If you're going to get to the top, you got to know what it feels like to be at the bottom. You got to know what it feels like to crawl through the dirt and the mud and all of the things that you don't feel comfortable in being in. What do your eyes see? What is your vision? I need you to commit to it. Whatever just went through your mind right now, I need it to be big and I need you to commit. I need you to be big thinking. I need you to commit. I need you to make a plan and I need you to follow through. That is all success requires is for you to rise up. Without failures or challenges, there could be no success. Then you will get up and you will go up. Miracles happen when you give as much energy to your dreams. A, a dream of, of picking up the pieces and starting all over again. The dream of if you get knocked down in life, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. A dream that when a doctor looks at you and said you're terminal and you say no, you determine the diagnosis. God determines the prognosis. The dream that this has not come to stay, it has come to pass. Oh, when you give as much time and energy to your dream, to this new vision of yourself, I'll give you all your eyes can see. Focus. There's greatness in you. There's so many people counting on you. You've heard this a million times, that the cemetery is full of potential. 
And that's true. Because that person didn't do what they needed to do through the dash. We all are born and we all going to die. And I'm going to ask you a question. What are you going to do with your dash? I know the feeling. No, this is not that fake lion, tigers, and bears motivation. This that growing up in the slums. Watching your mom nod on the couch as you go to school. We want more. We want more out of this life. And if you're not willing to give that to us, we're going to take it. To have an underdog mentality. Like everybody's already counted you out. Like everybody's already told you, you don't have what it takes. You don't measure up. That what you started, you will not finish. Claw your way into your future. Fight for your goal. Give it everything you have because you have nothing to lose. Life's gonna hit you in your mouth and you gotta do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. And I love it, Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. He was stumbling, they were four, three, two, one, and ding, 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 saved by the bell. He goes to his corner, the whole world is like, up. Oh, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's gonna just hammer him. And exactly that, Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up, you can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. What an uppercut by Douglas, and down goes Tyson. The world was shot. <gasps> Goliath has been knocked down. What happened? And they went to Buster Douglas and they asked Buster Douglas simply like, what happened? And Buster Douglas said, listen to me, it's real simple. Before my mother died, she told the whole world that I was going to be Mike Tyson. And two days before the fight, my mother died. Buster Douglas had, he had a decision to make. When his mother died, he could die with his mother or he made a decision, I can wake up and I can live for mom. And he knocked Mike Tyson out simply because his why was greater than that punch. His why was greater than defeat. His why was greater than his trial and his tribulation. And I'm telling you, if you don't know what your why is and your why isn't strong, you're gonna get knocked out every single day. A man is not a man by his age. A man is a man by his experiences. What he goes through. What he fights through. That's what makes a warrior. That's what makes the greatest of all time. I will end my life in a bottomless pit. I'm going to rise and I'm going to show the world. That greatness is obtained by the man that never stopped pushing. I believe and I stand on it to this day. As long as the sun is shining on my face and not on my grave, I got an opportunity of a lifetime.